I'm Ziggy Zertoff. And I'm Ali Zertoff. And, and you're, you're watching, watching The Miv. This episode of The Miv is proudly brought to you by Jedi Marital Lawyers. Jedi Marital Lawyers, may divorce be with you. Alright guys, so it's true, we did get married. Yay, look at my brain. <laughs> Wait, I'm very happy. Yeah, it's alright. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so the rumours are true. We got married last weekend. It was a shock to some, not to others, that were there at the event. Um, thank you. Thank you to everybody who attended. Um, it was a brilliant day. Really enjoyed ourselves. Alright, so we'll give you a little bit of a play-by-play -play of what happened during the day. Uh, we started out next door to each other. Um, that was a little bit difficult at times. Uh, ran into each other once accidentally and uh, oh, I think our probably our downfall one of our downfalls was that we didn't start the wedding itself until five o'clock um, so it meant that we were sitting around all day brooding and waiting and that I don't know how was it for you it was absolutely horrible for me. It was agonizing. <laughs> so I basically sat around the house all day getting drunk yeah, well, you wouldn't want to be drunk. <laughs> I wasn't drunk. I wasn't drunk. <laughs> and from there, from about 4.30, I went to Parahua's Bowling Club, which is where we had the ceremony. Absolutely beautiful ceremony held by a lovely, lovely lady called Katie Weeks. You rocked up around just after five? About ten minutes past five. About ten minutes past five. I don't understand this fashionably late bullshit, but I just kind of went with it. We had a lovely little ceremony. It was Tim Burton's steampunk themed wedding. I actually have a couple of things back here. This here is my cane that I had on the day. I made this myself out of a broomstick and some pixie dust. <laughs> no, as you can see it clearly is um, a mortar and pestle. <laughs> anyway, and a lovely, lovely bouquet. There's your bouquet. Button bouquet. Um, I spent a lot of time making. Put it up. I spent a lot of time making these bouquets. They, they took me about a day and a half for each bouquet. Mine a bit longer. Yours a bit longer. Uh, there was three to make, so that was a bit of a pain in the ass. Um, but I think that turned out well. There you go. There you go. And what we wore was pretty steampunk Victorian. Talk about your dress. Tell us about your dress. Well, my dress was made by a beautiful lady by the name of Samantha Tarilla. Uh, she does dressmaking in Andrews Farm, so I'm going to plug her business a bit here. If um, you do have any events, alternative events, she seems to be brilliant at, but she's fantastic all over. Uh, Awesome shoes. Um, they were from the shoe shed. Very expensive, but well worth it. And very comfortable. You could literally talk all day about um, what you wore, couldn't you? Yeah, there were several layers. <laughs> shoes, dresses, nails. I tell you, for the last four days beforehand, before the wedding, it was all hair, nails. Oh, am I gonna look, is this gonna, these nails gonna go with my hair color? Is that going to go with what I'm with wearing? It's absolute bullshit, something I am glad is over. Um, but that's my little bit on that. Uh, myself, I wore a ta uh, tailed suit with a white shirt and a red vest, red bow tie, top hat, cane. Gloves. Gloves. Aviator goggles. Aviator goggles. He forgets to mention all these things because clearly, you know. The thing is, I'm not a female, so I don't go into every detail of, of you know. I got my outfit from Ferrari Formal Wear. Thank you very much, Ferrari. It looked fantastic. That's your plug for Ferrari, huh? That's my plug for Ferrari. Well done. <laughs> 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 Alright, so I walked down the aisle at about 10 past 5. Um, and basically it was created in an L shape. Um, I walked down the aisle to get to the end and obviously, voila. Um, we had a beautiful ceremony done by Katie Weeks, 
who I can't recommend highly enough. She's absolutely brilliant. Um, she does naming days and yeah, she does <laughs> weddings and hand fastings and all that kind of stuff, which we did have a hand fasting, which was beautiful and confusing at the same time. I don't think the boys quite got it, but anyway. <laughs> No, I think there was quite a few people there that didn't fully get it, but they were still willing to partake in it and watch, and including the uh, war, uh, ring warming, which was something that we weren't too sure how people were going to adapt, adapt to, which is basically people put their hands over the, over our rings and say a silent prayer um, and wish us happiness and what have you and pass on the rings. So that way the rings take on more than just a physical meaning, but also a, a, a spiritual meaning. Uh, I'm not a very spiritual person myself, but I still thought the sentiments were pretty nice. Basically, from there, we had um, our vows, which were individually written. Very, very, very similar. Um, they were surprisingly similar. Uh -huh. And then we had the signing of the, the certificate itself, which now sits on our wall. Yeah, it's just up there. Yeah. It's beautiful. Um, didn't think of getting that one down. And then no. no. All the props we could have got, we didn't get the certificate. Oh, um, yeah. hey, we got in the background, Jesus says relax, but we forgot our marriage certificate. Yeah, that's just the way it goes. Yeah, I made sure I did that, but forgot the most important thing up there. That was a bit stupid of me. And then we were pronounced husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. So we did a little bit of this, yeah. Church time. From there, we... Um, had our reception, we went to the Grand Central, which is the Central District Football Club. Go you doggies! Go you doggies! <laughs> um, but no, it was actually a very, very nice little venue, and um, we had some fun in there too, didn't we? Yep. Um, had, when we arrived, we arrived to a absolutely beautiful lolly buffet, which was set out for everybody, which was fucking brilliant. And a cake made by my two sisters, and the cake was stunning. There's no other words for it. We sent them an image of what we would like our cake to look like, and that's what we got. It was fantastic. Norelle and Chantel, thank you so much. It was marvellous. Everyone really enjoyed it and thought it tasted beautiful. So, um, kudos. Mm -hmm. uh, we could be here all day if we were thanking people, but um, one other person that I'd like to thank is my mum, um, just because she's the reason that we got as far as we did, and she did brilliantly with the lolly buffet and everything else, and um, yeah, between Narelle and Chantel and mum and your mum and our families, we really, really were very lucky. We had a pull together day, and ended up with the most beautiful product of, well I mean not that I would know how hard the work was, I was being the bride and getting pampered drinking wine mm -hmm. and such, but anyway. But not everything runs smoothly though. No. We, we have people not where they should be at the right time, we had food that didn't come out at the right time, there wasn't enough food, um, we had things that just didn't have time for, like the throwing of the bouquet and the throwing of the garter. There were things that didn't go right, so it wasn't all perfect. It, it wasn't all perfect, but it was perfect for us. Yeah. And you know, we really enjoyed the night. Well, I, I really enjoyed the night anyway. So did I. Well, there we go. It was beautiful. We enjoyed the night. All right. If you had to give it a star rating out of five, what would you give it? Mm. Unbiased. Oh well, we can't do that to me. It's my wedding. We planned it. You can say what you want. Uh, honestly, I'd probably give it a four and a half star. You give it four and a half yeah. stars. All right. Well, I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it four because there were definitely things that went wrong, mm -hmm. but they didn't really affect the running of the day at all. So to any huge degree, anyway. not not to any huge degree. So I was extremely happy with it. Of course, as with all things, there could be improvements, mm -hmm. um, but. Yeah, four stars I'd give it. Yeah. So I'd say uh, it was a wedding definitely worth attending. So that's all from us here on The Miv. Look forward to seeing you next time. I'm Ziggy. And I'm Ali. 
Catch you next time on the MIV. You've been watching the music, movie, meme and media show. Aren't you a lucky duckling? Look at my ring, my ring, my ring.